Welcome to this week's episode of FTK Feature Focus, and also welcome to the year 2022. This is the first episode of the year. I hope you had some good holidays, and we are back. We took a little break for those holidays. So for this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different in that I'm going to use a video that I made for a support ticket. Now, a couple things about that. A lot of the topics that I do in the FTK feature focus series or uh, playlist or whatever you want to call it comes out of our support chat out of our support tickets. And as you can see, a lot of these are not environmental things that I'm training or fixing problems with your system or fixing problems with the installation. They're training issues. I just want to emphasize how important it is to get proper training on the software and the technology and the procedures that you are going through. It will save you time. It will increase the quality of your cases overall, and you'll spend less time in support portals thinking something wrong when in fact the workflow is there or you didn't know it existed. It's never a good feeling when later you go to work another case and you have more training, you look back on previous cases, and you know, oh, I could have done this better had I known that feature exists. We all go through it. So for example, the support ticket that we're looking at today is the individual wanted to search for a key term, but only between two individuals within the email. They didn't want the hits from everybody or all the email within the company. So we'll look at how to create a filter doing that. This workflow is covered in depth in our Forensic Toolkit 101 and Forensic Toolkit 201 courses. So let's take a look at this video. Again, it's gonna be a little different because I'm not gonna have the green screen. You're gonna get a little peek into my office. This was made for one of our support reps. And you can also find this information within our knowledge base on the website. Links will be down below where you can view our public knowledge base. But yeah, get training. It'll save you time, increase the quality of your cases, and uh, all around make you a better person. All right, welcome to FTK Feature Focus. We'll cut to the video. All right, so in relation to this support ticket, we need to and from, or from and to, two users while searching for mention of a third. So I don't really have a data set that uh, captures that exactly, but we can work around it. So the first thing we need to do is create a filter that will reduce it to two from, from two, the same user. So I have done that already. I have two from one, two from two. And if we do a define on that, we can see it's a simple uh, two contains uh, an email address. I do contains case insensitive. I'll highlight why this can work. Depending on the environment, you could do is and do a specific one. It just depends on your data set. I have to be a little more um, whatever. So case, contains case insensitive and then the email of the first person and then from the contains case insensitive and the second person. This could be an email address, a display name, again, depending on the data. We're going to do a match all. That means both of these have to be true. It has to go from two, uh, you know, two fun runner from Lance in this case. Now with FTK, you can't do some of them match all and some of them match any in the same line. So we create the two from one. So two fun runner from Lance. Uh, the two from two is just the opposite of that. So this is from fun runner to Lance, or in this case, blue paladin, which is Lance's email. And notice we have to match all. So both of these have to be true. It has to go that from this to that. Okay. Then we combine that together. Notice that we're just bringing in two and from two from one, two from two together here, match any. So we're looking for emails that are from Lance to fun runner or from fun runner to Lance. Okay. That's what this does. This does the bi-directional only that if you only did like two and from, you'd go only go one way. If you did, or then you would get like a message sent from Lance to Chris, 
And you don't want that. You want it all in the same thing. And so we can build it like that. Okay. So if we uh, like uh, come up, cause we'll do a global, cause I'll show you what we can do with that. So we're gonna set a global and notice that it reduces this down to 21 out of 375. All right, so we get our conversation here. So that's all that's left on the filter. Now, you can check mark it. I do have it here. So notice that we have checked files 21, loaded 21, so we only have these here. Now we'll go over to our index search. And I've already run the search, but notice that by typing in the word Amazon, again, I don't have a third person, but Amazon um, here, we have a total of 59,000 957 hits within our case. So if I run a search, I can reduce this, the scope of this search to just the checked files. Okay. That's the, uh, not these, but, uh, the 21 files we had on email. Okay. And so now we could import if this was the, uh, name of the third person, we would be searching for that name only in the conversation or the emails that we filtered down. The other way to do this is to apply the filter uh, to from email combined. Okay. Or since we have a global filter on, this will automatically filter down the files um, anyway. So either way, you can have the filter up here. You can choose the filter here. You can do checked files. You have a couple different ways of limiting your search to just what you created. So if I hit like include all files, notice I get my 20 hits in 10 files, which is the same as doing 20 hits in 10 files of the checked files because we have this global filter on. And we come down and all of our hits for Amazon are within the looking for some insight recommendations on gun safes, okay? And if we were to come back and look at our email filter really quick, that's it hits in this email chain. Now, just as a point of whatever, we run this search on Amazon as a comparison, all email files and attachments. We're gonna come up here and turn off our filter so we don't filter our results here. And we're gonna get this 415 hits across 49 files. So if we expand that out, notice we have a bunch more. Yes, we do get our hits, but we get everything else, which we don't want. And so it's it's important to either check the files and filter by checked, have your global filter up, or you can always specify the filter in the search now right here, either you know by specifying your two from filter com combined or whatever you called it there, and you're only going to search within the files that you want using that index search. So again, this would be like the name of a person, in this case, a store, a resource, whatever, but only in as much as those two people were talking. So yeah, that's how you do that.